Three, two, one. Hey, internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, the Synergy Collaborative and Synergy Lifestyle Academy. And guess who I have here? I have Marina. And I forgot to pronounce your, the way you pronounce your last name, is it Bruni? Bruni, perfect. Bruni. Yes. Yay! Because sometimes yeah. when I first saw it, I thought, <laughs> I thought Bruni. No, that sounds too weird. It's Bruni. Bruni, yes. A typical Italian name. And a doctor. That's a typical Italian name. Bruni, yeah, it's an Italian name, yes. Is, is, it, is it a common one? Like over here we got Smith and Johnson? It's quite, it's not super common like Smith and Johnson, but it's quite, it is quite common. Not super common, but quite common, yeah. And you're not in Italy now though, yes? You're in... No, no, I live in London, UK. I've been, I've lived in UK for 12 years now. 12? So, 12. Very good. Get your, your, your roots in there. <laughs> yes well actually i like to to think of myself like a world citizen so yeah <laughs> i'm uh, the same i just did a I, I do some marketing i sell t-shirts and things like that and i created one that the universe is my god and life is my religion <laughs> amazing i love that the world is my church so yeah. exactly well i know that we first got connected because i've been doing a lot of interviews with the uh, thoughts become things kind of thing and um, with the secret, it's no longer yeah. a secret. A lot of people know about it now. It's not. No, we, 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 we've spread the secret. So, hey, it's not a secret anymore. We're teaching it. So, hey. <laughs> it, it is an interesting thing. Like I, this morning, I told you, I just did a, an interview because I think we're, we're stuck in our physical brains and we think, you know, emotion and logic and we're stuck in that space. And we, we have a hard time getting outside of what we already are. And instead of uh, like creating who we are by being who we want to be, we end up, oh, I can't do that because I went to school for this. And we get into that niche and it's hard to get outside of it because of our, our brains think past and future and they're stuck. Yeah, that's very true because we are overthinking everything and we have forgotten that, we have forgotten that things are simple and are meant to be simple. It's something is or become or feels like it's not that simple, it's not that straightforward. It means that we are overcomplicated it. Uh, and, and the thing is that uh, it's, and it's very easy doing that because we live pretty much here, as you just said, and we think and think and think. And with this overthinking, usually what we tend to do is uh, getting into all the stuckness into the negativity and we get stuck on the hamster heel wheel where we are like pretty much 24 7 and uh, also because we are conditioned from the outer world we are conditioned from i mean most of us are conditioned from uh, the people they spend time with i mean we all are conditioned by the people and the energy emanating the, from the people we spend time with. That's why it's very important who you spend time with and how to choose people you spend time with because everything it, it gets connected. And uh, the, main, the, main, the main problem, the main thing is that uh, most of the people, they expect that something changes outside so that they can relax so that they can uh, they can bring that change inside in the inner world but it's not how it works i mean in other words they they expect to have something so that they can do what they do and so they can be what they want to be yeah but it's really, actually yeah. Actually, it works the other way around yeah. because first of all, you need to be or become that who you want to be in order to do what you want to do so that you can have what it is that you want. And, and that's a very basic law of, of that that comes straight from the laws of the universe from from the quantum physics because everything we we are i strongly strongly believe in us 
as powerful, powerful creators or co-creators of our own reality. Mm -hmm. Now, in order to create our own reality, we need to start creating ourselves, our own inner reality, our own inner coherence, because creation is a coherent process. Creation stems from coherence. So if we are not coherent, we cannot create. And I want, I want to tie this up to uh, the, 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 the separation of the two hemispheres that we were talking about earlier on. Mm -hmm. and because if our, our mind is split, if we keep on second guessing ourselves, if we don't use linear logic and creativity together combined, we live in separation. And we cannot create from separation. If we are in separation, we are not coherent. And so when we, when we learn how to master that, how to master that coherence, that creation inside, that's when we can start creating outside because creation is an inside world. And the outside world is a reflection of our, our own inside world. Yeah, I think a lot of times people, they, they have their eyes that look outside, their ears that look outside, and your feel a sense of touch, it's from the outside. Everything is from the outside, so you kind of determine that that's what reality is, when the real reality is whatever you want to kind of create. And I'm, I'm, I'm challenged personally, and I think a lot of other people too, with getting crystal clear on what you want. And the, you talked mm -hmm. about the quantum physics, and the, it's sort of like the wave particle right? Yes. You need to look at it and realize, is it a wave or is it a particle? And then mm -hmm. know that it's both. And yes. you resonate in that place and then it manifests. But it's so easy to, you know, blame somebody else or like, sometimes you wonder, is this a, is this a message from God telling me I'm on the right path? Or is it a warning from God that's telling me I'm on the right, I'm on the wrong path? You kind yeah. of don't know unless you know what you want you know, as far as the path, then go down the path. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's because you know what you know and you don't know what you don't know. Absolutely. And that's why it's important to, to achieve mastery in that. And that's why, and this is very much one of the main, the main points that I always insist when talking to people. This is a process and you need to keep working at it. It's, it's a journey. So it's not something that can change from one day to another. And it's never something that once you start doing it, you're done with it. Because it's a continuous evolution. And um, yeah, and you have yeah, to keep like it. right thinking. It's, it's yeah. kind of like if, you're, if you wanted to learn Japanese, what you do is you immerse yourself in Japan and you'll probably start learning Japanese. But if you left Japan and went over to Sweden and then you went over to... Germany, and then you went over to Mexico, you're probably not going to learn Japanese very easily because you, you're moving around. You got to stay focused, yes. right? Yes, absolutely. And you have to keep at it. You have to keep a, lang a, a foreign languages. You, you need to practice them. And yeah, because otherwise you lose them. Yeah, absolutely. And that's the same thing. It's all about practice because that is very much something that needs to become your second nature because otherwise you will always be going up and down up and down up and down you feel unsettled and you keep living in separation you know and separation I, I, and separation is fear basically this, this is a different topic but i was looking through your website and things and i noticed you do executive coaching and I think what a person immediately what they think is they think, well, I need to be an executive in order to be able to coach executives. But that's not necessarily true. No. It's just a matter of because like an executive coach might be thinking that exact way. They might have made their monies by just grit and hard work and just do, you know, working a lot of hours. And maybe they're problem is they are spending too much time at the office and not enough time with their family and that's why they want coaching and they realize that a person like yourself would be able to coach them through it because they're not in that world and maybe that's the aha that 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 logical money-making brain doesn't realize that oh my god there's another way 
Yeah, def absolutely. I totally agree with you. It's about working smarter, not harder. And also, and, and also it's about to, to be mature enough to ask help to somebody else who knows how to guide you. Because sometimes, you know, I, 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 I quite find that quite often, not all the time, I quite, quite often it happens. Uh, I, I happen to talk to people and they say, oh yeah, but you know what? I can do it by myself. I don't need that. Yeah, maybe you can, maybe, maybe not. Maybe with the help of someone who is an expert. Well, first of all, is someone who is external to the situation. Yeah, I, I don't so, think people can. I exactly. Really can. I think because you're stuck in your exactly. old patterns. Exactly. Unless you exactly. could really meditate and get in a real neutral state and be open enough to take in and, and you know, go on some ayahuasca journey or something and realize that, oh my God, there's something bigger than me out there. <laughs> Yes, but even then, um, even then, getting support, getting uh, someone from outside helping you, working with you, accelerates your process. Yeah, yeah. They they, they ask those questions oh. that you you go never thought about that. Yes. Also, because you leverage their expertise, you leverage their experience, and most of the time. Uh, because you, I assume you're gonna hire a professional, a high, high qualified professional. So if you hire one of those, they've already dealt most of the time with the issue or with the problem or with the situation you're going through. Sure. So it's, um, yeah, it's about, uh, it's about whether you want to go at uh, quickly or not, whether you want to leverage other people. It's, work, it's is like smarter. work is smarter, work is smarter leveraging other people's mistakes, leveraging other people's experiences so that you can go ahead smarter. You can make a quantum jump. Yeah, there's no point in reinventing the wheel, right? No, exactly. Because <laughs> exactly. you, like as a coach, like yourself, it's very possible that you've already worked with somebody that was looking to go the same direction. So basically it's like a template yeah. almost. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Of course, we are all different. We're not the same. That's, that's absolutely true. And I honor that all the time. Yeah. But it's not a cookie I mean, cutter thing. No, exactly. But certain thematics, certain patterns are the same. The patterns are always the same. Do you do your coaching via live in person or you do it via internet? Like I do most of the time, well, especially in this situation. <laughs> Yeah, we are only in, yeah, I mean, in, in London, as we speak, we are still in lockdown. Uh, it's a bit kind of loosen up, but still. But yeah, no, I do most of my coaching uh, uh, via, via internet, via Zoom. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's rare that I have one-on-one -on -one, uh, meeting in person. Sometimes it happens, but in, it's mostly bigger event in person, which about, at the moment... live events? Do you do the like speaking from the stage kind of thing? Yes, yes, yes. Do you ever come to the United States? Well, with the movie, we were supposed to come to the United States, but it's been delayed. And actually, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was speaking in a virtual event, because of course, also those events have gone virtual now, uh, in, the United, in the United States, I mean, in the time zone of the United States, it was an American, yes. And actually the event was organized by Sharon Lecter, you might have heard of her. So she's the was it Cheryl Lecter? Sharon Lecter. She's the co-author of uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Oh, okay, sure. And the Guardian of Napoleon in Foundation. So yeah, I was speaking there. So yeah, I do, I do well now. Hopefully soon the I mean we will be allowed to travel again soon. Sure. So hopefully It'll happen. I will come <laughs> exactly. I will I will go. I will come. I will. I will travel to the United States for, for live event. Absolutely. Yes. Well, I'm in the event the business and I, I was doing a lot of events and then all of a sudden I just finished my event planners expo in March on March 4th. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden this happened and everything went, er, everything stopped. Mm -hmm. So that's why yeah. I reignited all this online stuff with zoom and everything. <laughs> yeah. Why not? You know, and to you be honest, do. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I have to say that I quite like these uh, uh, online kind of events. Of course, that's true. The event, the in-person event are different because the energy is different. You interact with people in a different way. 
However, if we didn't have the opportunity to have this technology, uh, pro we wouldn't be talking right now. And also, this is given this is given the opportunity to uh, to, to organize more events like simultaneously with people that probably couldn't have traveled to the yeah. physical event. Yep, very true. And uh, there's other ways of doing this. Seeing this is a, a lesser expensive platform than renting a hotel and all that and ballroom yeah. and convention center or whatever and airline yeah. tickets and all that. It's possible yeah. to be able to do a very valuable seminar and charge like nine dollars or ninety dollars instead of having to charge two thousand dollars for it yeah absolutely and it's also, yes and it's also more efficient because for someone that for example can travel but would like to attend the seminar or the event or part of it can still doing from home while doing other things popping in popping out it's more it's it's efficient it's very efficient so i quite like it and you get to record it like we're doing now this is recorded so maybe somebody yes. down the road five years seven years ten years from now <laughs> yes exactly well speaking of time i don't like to do these too long because people do have that commodity of time you know there's only yes. 20 24 hours in a day so can you share with how we get a hold of you in case uh, somebody wants to work with you either however you go about it if you've got a book or something that you can share or yes absolutely uh, you can always email at marina at marinabruni.com m-a-r-i-n-a at m-a-r-i-n-a b-r-u-n-i.com and you can or you can go uh, to my website uh, uh, www.marinabruni.com and you can download my ebook, The Morning Routine That Successful People Won't Start Their Day Without. And please don't roll your eyes up because it's not the typical morning routine. So you're gonna have to check out because it's got a twist. I'll roll my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have to look at it. You can't, do not judge before, right? Exactly. Well, Marina, I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to beam this up to the universe and propagate it out and let people find it. And um, I will send you a link and I'll put your links and all the, the stuff too so people can find you. And again, if you have some other program coming up or a new book launch or a program that you want to share, let's reconnect and do it and keep the ball rolling and synergy. <laughs> Absolutely. With pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. I really enjoyed our conversation. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Thank you. Bye.